Hello and welcome back everyone. Um, this video is about uh, choosing factor authentication without a phone uh, uh, using KeyPass or Safing Cloud Password Managers to generate the one-time pass passcodes. Uh, so uh, one-time passwords uh, codes. Um, the links will be in the description. Uh, usual disclaimer. Um, I'm not responsible if you install the program and, and if you follow the video to the end um, uh, you should be okay but proceed uh, you know proceed at your own risk uh, so yeah usual disclaimer so let's minimize this there's key pass sample entries and um, bring um, and pass safe and cloud password manager sample entries now if you go back to the um, um, plugins page uh, you you need to download for key pass the key OTP uh, plugin and the website is there the downloads link is there if you click on that um, you can download the latest one which is 1.3.9 for key pass uh, one time pass passcode uh, plugin um, or you can right click and save it and then um, in the website uh, sorry about that in the website of the developer he talks about uh, how it works and you can see it works supports uh, Google two-step Amazon uh, Dropbox Facebook I've tried it on Amazon Dropbox Facebook it works fine I haven't done that Google yet because uh, I've been working on it last night now the thing is once you've downloaded the zip file and extract it in the plugins folder you got these two DLL files, the key OTP and the OTP sharp DLL. You copy those, just those two, nothing else, into the root directory. That's what I found uh, when I did it. Um, just pause the video for a second. The video, so back to the video, there's the two files dropped into the programs folder of KeyPass 2. At the time of making the video, version 2.3 was the latest so you can download it from here uh, I won't do that I've already got in version 2.5 installed and you can find out more about uh, one-time passwords from Wikipedia uh, which I won't go into from there and the link will be in the description and uh, basically it talks about um, time synchronization which is how it works now in Safe in Cloud Password Manager, these are sample entries. They've introduced a one-time uh, passcode, and to add it, you just double-click on your entry, click Organize Fields, click Plus, find the one-time password and type, and then just I just put down OTP. You can call it what you like, um, TOTP, OTP. Click OK. Click close and save every time you make a change in a manager save it and then um, so so now you've got the the entry to add in there right let's go back to key pass uh, the plugin is already installed in the root directory the two files I mentioned you can see there and if I right click on the sample entry you you can copy the TOP file once you've set it up and this is where it generate uh, you add the code in from your Facebook account to start uh, the process if, it, if I double click on that uh, you get the key which is empty so it's not set up yet let's cancel that so once you've logged in to set it up uh, in Facebook for example once you logged in from a browser for uh, into your Facebook account go to settings and then security and in the security uh, scroll down to where it says you use two-factor authentication um, and you'll find that here so use two-factor authentication click the edit key once you click the edit key go to code generator and where it says third-party app click on that and you'll get a barcode scanner box underneath the barcode scanner box you'll see 
a security key and there'll be a there'll be a 16 digit uh, code for Facebook uh, it may be different for different accounts like Dropbox or Amazon but you need that uh, uh, to copy here for well you know copy notepad or something um, once you've done that go back to your uh, key pass um, right click on it click on timed uh, entry and then paste your that 16 digit code in in uh, sorry in there okay once you've added the code and clicked OK you'll start getting this is an old one I've used I've since generated a different one for the for this demo and uh, you can see it's got the six digit code uh, generated so once that's set up, once you've added it to KeePass, uh, you can close that f uh, for now. Same way, add the code here. Copy the 16-digit code. Okay. Save and close uh, the, uh, the database entry, and then you'll see it's set up there. Right? And you the 30-second time comes up. Once that uh, pr uh, proceeds you'll get a one time code another one for next time use so basically all you do is uh, log into face this box uh, two factor authentication enter the six digit code so once you've got that uh, you go to your password manager and this is a sample one so for this exercise click that it gets copied the one time code before it times out and then add it here okay and then click continue uh, because this is a sample entry and a sample code I use it won't work on my account because I've got a different code there so that's what you do and in key pass uh, on the sample entry I've added that code from Facebook uh, the old one for the exercise and uh, it uh, it's been added here you can now then copy the one-time password it generates from here to add it when you log into your Facebook account. So copy that. Uh, you can do it that way, and it gives you a code. Uh, Safe in Cloud does it uh, f uh, as I showed you earlier, or you can just uh, do it from here and type it in. So if I then open this, the code uh, appears, and then you can just uh, move that around. Uh, and then when you log in, when he asks you for that six-digit code, copy that in before it times out. When it times out, you get another different code. Uh, so that's how one-time password, uh, timed passcode uh, works. Once you've uh, set everything up in the database, you must, must save it. Uh, if you click on that, it saves it. If you don't save that, you lose all the entries. So you can do that for your Facebook. You can do it for... Dropbox, Amazon, uh, the same way. The code is hidden behind the barcode and you can find where it is by manually finding the link to get that code. Um, I think I managed to do the um, Microsoft one as well uh, and it seemed to work fine. I uh, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.